Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are laying out the internal framework for our Connex shop or shipping container shop. Uh, some people don't like it when I call it Connex, apparently I found that out. Um, but so what we're gonna do essentially is, well here, I'll show you, come here. So between these ridges, we're gonna place two inch studs uh, to be able to hang stuff like lights, electrical outlets, uh, tools, uh, we can put up pegboard, we can do whatever we want, but we don't wanna compromise the metal structure, so we're laying in wood to these. So what we're gonna do uh, is, is essentially like this. So these are just loose right now, but we're essentially building a roof structure, uh, nailing it from the top, so this will hold on to this, and then we're gonna screw this into the stud, and then also another one at the bottom, and that will essentially allow this piece of wood to be, have stuff mounted to it, um, which is gonna allow us to have kind of a, a, a wall that we can do something with in, in here. So that's kind of what we're doing today. It shouldn't take us too much longer. We milled all this lumber up. We milled about 40 or 50 boards and we're just gonna use junk wood that was laying around. So yeah, that's what we're up to. Check it out. Thank you. All right, I think we're uh, we're good to go. Yeah, I think we're ready. It's way more impressive after we've done it a couple of times. Glad you're filming now. Oh, I don't want to bang that out. I'm just gonna stick this on this one for now. All right. Ears. Eli, plug your ears, bud. Ah, I forgot to put my intro in. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I was like, something feels wrong about this. I'm like, everybody, plug your ears. Oh, wait. Ears? Yeah. All right, here we go. talking about Woo! way easier the second time around. yeah way easier we did the, tj and i did this yesterday and we worked out all the kinks so that way we could show you the correct way to do it instead of the very very wrong way to do it we we just figured out like edison how not to put in framing What you doing? So we needed uh, L brackets basically to hold the bottoms of the studs in place. And we could go buy L brackets, but they'd be a couple dollars a piece. But we realized we had a bunch of this extra stuff. So we're just cutting it into short little L brackets and then we're just gonna drill through it. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nice. Much faster, more efficient, recycle. Reuse, rejuvenate, I don't know what the other saying is. Reduce, reuse, recycle. 
it is. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Get a whole bunch of them. Nice. Got them all the way down, almost to the end, on that side. I'm starting in on this side. Brackets are going in, and the studs are solid enough. <laughs> How's it going? Don't look at this yet. <laughs> That's super janky. <laughs> Do you need a hand? <laughs> no. Get by. <laughs> what, uh, what's going on there, boss? It's, it's, it's just balancing. Just don't touch it. Okay. Don't touch it. Not touchy. <laughs> All right. So we've got most of this in. We made the decision that we're actually going to drill from the outside in because we have a bunch of the gasket locking um, roofing screws. So we're doing is we're drilling a pilot hole, just one in the center drilling a pilot hole and then passing that in and then the gasket will actually seal it so it'll stay watertight and when you know later if we go to move this or use it for something else uh, there's only I mean it's like teeny tiny little holes that we could just fill with weld um, pretty quickly and easily so it's the difference of this which doesn't move and this which moves quite a bit so that one screw is gonna give us considerable advantage. And then there's not a ton of holes in the outside of this thing. And the holes that are there are sealed. And then we'll need, uh, we'll need 90s, uh, round 90s. Mm -hmm. And then we need lights. Mm -hmm. What I'll probably end up doing is doing one, two, four foot lights, and then over the workbench, put in hanging lights yeah, on the same yeah. light circuit. Because if they're LEDs, they're not going to draw hardly nothing. Yeah. And then, so then what we're going to do for those playing the home game, is <laughs> we're going to put in uh, workbenches right here. That'll come down, probably stop here. And then we're going to mount a uh, TV so the kids can watch or I can watch or anybody can watch. Uh, or play video games or what have you. Then, and this is the part I'm really excited about, we're gonna get a refrigerator and put it right here. So there'll be a refrigerator that you can free, you know, store stuff in the freezer, the refrigerator, anything. I mean, you put six packs of soda and milk, yogurt. That's a line from Tommy Boy, by the way. Gotcha. Uh, so. Get your parts of Callahan Auto. Callahan Auto. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put a refrigerator in here and then we will likely underneath the TV between the refrigerator and here put in a small uh, AC unit with uh, a dehumidifier because this morning when we came in here there was actually water on the tools that are inside the toolbox so the condensation is just so heavy in here that we're gonna need to run a dehumidifier most of the time. So we figure we'll have a dehumidifier and uh, in, the, in the winter, uh, we can actually build a little uh, like wood burning stove and just vent it out right here. So, cause if we put a wood burning stove like right about here and then just drill a hole in the top, seal it up, we could actually keep this thing warm in the winter. So we'll have cool in the summer, warm in the winter. So, tell them to comment below if they've got a better idea to dehumidify a Conex. Yeah, if you've got, if you have a better idea to dehumidify a Conex, comment below because help us out. Help us out, because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm making this up as we go. So yeah, that's. Uh, I think we're just gonna run to the store and get um, electrical supplies to be able to run the electrical for this Connex. And then uh, you and I are going on a date because oh, it, was, yeah. it was our 14 year anniversary yesterday and we had stuff going on all day. So we're celebrating today by putting in a workshop. No, 
we're going to go out to dinner and to dinner. do something nice. So, yeah. I think that's it for today. We are back out here again. It's raining today, which works out nicely because we are inside. All the work we have to do today is inside. So we are installing electrical. We pulled the uh, old uh, wire off the RV, which is going to allow us to plug into the RV hookup and basically plug this whole thing into this electrical box. So we've got a sub box here with um, conduit coming all the way around. We're putting in plugs. There, 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 you know, all over, we'll run a bunch of circuits. And then we are also going to put in lights. So we went and got these lights from Harbor Freight and they'll basically just mount up to the ceiling with plugs. So we'll put plugs on the ceiling and yeah, we're running six different circuits, pretty standard, boring wiring. So that's what we're doing today. What's uh, with that split in the ceiling? Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. So... We had a little uh-oh yesterday. Some of the wood we milled up was not exactly... See, now it's a exploding one. Some of the wood we milled up was not exactly uh, as good as it could have been. And so we checked the rest of them, but because we have screws coming from the outside in, it's not the end of the world, really. This is just to hold some lights, which is pretty huh, light weight. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's... We're probably going to try to figure out how to replace that if we can. If not, we'll uh, just skip that one. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. All right. So uh, as you can see, we've got light. We wired up everything. I still haven't gotten all the plugs wired, so I'm going to sit here and do that. But now I can do it in the comfort of light. Uh, we got our box, our main breaker box, all wired up and ready to go. All the breakers are off while I'm working, obviously. Uh, yeah, we even ran a dedicated uh, 20 amp circuit for the welder. We've got our light. We are in pretty good shape. So I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure.